Ah, uh, yes, the Queensland design of the Centenary of Federation state coins. Uh, these are from 2001. Each state and territory has a different design, and also Norfolk Island. So keep an eye out for those coins. They're a 2001 coin. Um, so let's see if I might be able to find one in this 20 cent coin roll right here. I've got $4 worth. So um, how much is that? That's um, 20 chances, 20 chances, 20 coins in here. And we'll get the paper off. I'll be getting my pry tool back in a little bit, so stay tuned for that and a few others to um, add um, to share with everyone. So yeah, that's gonna be cool, it's cool. All right, 20 cent coins. See if we can find a Centennial Federation, very unlikely, but man, um, I do like them, so. This is a 1981, this is a Canadian minted coin and it's in pretty poor condition, but you see these claws under here, that left-hand claw is half the size. That means this coin was minted in Canada for Australia. Needed a bit of extra help that particular year. Um, so prices on those between $1.25 and $34. Now this one's in pretty poor condition. I'll put it aside, but in that condition, it's pretty, yeah, pretty poor. But um, check these for a wave cap. This point of wave coming in here touches the platypus's head. Sometimes it finishes a bit further back and there's a bit of a gap. So some prices on those, um, two to five dollars each. 2001s can be rotated. That one is not. 81, check that for a three and a half claw. Okay, that's what we've got to go. Okay, we've got a New Zealand 20 cent coin, the same shape and size, um, or the previous New Zealand coins anyway, so I hold on to them. So this is uh, the Kiwi on the New Zealand 20 cent coins, cool. Two coins, 1981, not a three and a half claw, and the last one, 1999. 